So my proposal consists of a one day, four hour workshop, which will provide a comprehensive background on trauma and trauma informed care. This workshop can be offered both virtually and in person and will consist of three different sessions. The first session will be a lecture by Re Reverend Paul Abernathy of the Hill District. He is the CEO of the Neighborhood Resilience Project, which is an organization that works to uh, combat and build combat trauma within the Hill District and build trauma informed community development. And the second session will consist of two panels of faculty members and health professionals from each discipline that Duquesne has to offer. And so we will have occupational therapy, physical therapy, PA, nursing, pharmacy, speech, education, and psychology. And the third and final third and final session will consist of a talk from Elizabeth Sherman, who is an occupational therapist who is based in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood of the city, and she runs a trauma-informed practice. And so she will discuss how to incorporate trauma-informed care into our own practices as future health professionals. And then she will close out the day with a trauma-sensitive yoga session. And then at the end of the workshop, everyone who attends will get a micro-credentialing certificate for having attended. And so the adverse uh, childhood experience study revealed that lifelong health problems such as chronic heart and lung disease, autoimmune diseases, and depression can all be linked directly to past experiences of trauma. This is increasingly important because we now know that members of historically marginalized populations who have experienced trauma are at a significantly higher risk than just the general population. And so this workshop will give um, all who attend a nice tool set that they can bring into their own practice and um, give them a different lens to look through when they look at the way that certain patients and clients are presenting. And so this is um, a statistic, a graphic about what adverse childhood experiences are, and they are traumatic, traumatic events that have, can have negative lasting effects on health and well-being, such as abuse, neglect, and household challenges. And roughly 67% of the population will experience at least one ACE. And then this is a graphic that just goes to show that those who experience trauma are at a far greater risk to develop and struggle with issues such as alcoholism, developing STDs, using drugs, committing suicide, smoking, job problems, depression. And so trauma and trauma-informed care are two topics that aren't really touched on extensively or taught extensively at Duquesne University in any curriculum. And so this would kind of, this workshop would help to fill the gap that is there. And it would also connect us to neighboring communities and community partners. And this goes in line with imperative two of the uh, university's strategic plan, which states that Duquesne will become the region's flagship institution for community engagement, through mutually beneficial partnerships that advance the city, the region and the world. And so this workshop will benefit of the students and faculty who attend, including possibly with the future medical school, this would be a big part of it. And it will also benefit our future clients and patients as we are able to look at their care through a trauma-informed lens and realize why things are the way they are. And then at the end, again, everyone will receive a certificate that they can put on their resume. Thank you for your time and have a great day.